For our next loft visit, we've come along to the River Weir to visit the fantastic racing lofts of Ronnie Evans and Son. Good afternoon, Ron and Ron. Good afternoon. To do Ron Ron. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see you. Um, how long have you been in the sport? This, we started pigeons in about 74 when we first started off racing pigeons at Casa Down and that. Then we uh, finished with pigeons and we started up again in 89 when we went to Tommy Lasky's loft. And that's where the original, most of the best pigeons come from, Tommy Lasky's Bush Arts, so mm. Solands, yeah. Artland Scots. Uh, since then we've fetched uh, one or two uh, other pigeons here from Wart and Greenlea, which is uh, Bush Arts, Dehanians, uh, uh, Terry Craig's son, the grandson, uh, a couple of Van Loons from them. And uh, the latest ones has been a few Jansons from Wheatley's. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Colin Wheatley and so forth. What's the best positions you've won? Uh, I would say the second combine. Two fourth combines last year. Yeah. Second, two fourth combines. And uh, fifth combine. Them's been the best. And we've won, we won the section about six times, I think. I mean, them's yeah. about to the doubt the best performances yeah. that we've had over there for the pigeons, you know. What sort of distances you got racing? Uh, 79 mile up to. I was going to have about 400 and Province. about 470, I think it is, up the province. Yeah, so you like all distances, like. Yeah, she would, were, the pigeon was six combined up the province. She won the section that day, checked out. Now it's Czech cock. It's a full brother to Tommy Lasky's uh, combine winner. He's uh, father, grand grandfather, great grandfather, great great grandfather. The club and fed winners. Uh, section winners, there's a grandson off and won the section out of Forks in this year and uh, it was 22nd combine, there's a, there's a son off him, 21st combine this year, 41st combine this year, all through this pigeon. What, what family is he from? Uh, Bush Arts, which is from, uh, we go back to Artland Scots, but originally he's, we got this pigeon as a pair of eggs off Tommy Lasky. He's a fabulous pigeon isn't he? Yeah. What system you race your old birds, Ron? Yeah, this year we put them all on uh, Widowhood. Put all the cocks on Widowhood this year. We've uh, the last uh, few years since we've started, we used to race them on natural. Then when they got the forks, and we used to split them and race them on uh, a roundabout system. Yeah. But this year we give it a go racing all Widowhood, and there may be four or five hens. Yeah. How many cocks you got on it? There was 40, 40 cocks on it this year. Started out with. Yeah. Do you break down? Uh, in a way we do, we give them depruitive, but we don't, uh, they're not measured on it. No. They get what they want of it in the morning and what they leave we just take out on the, on the feeds after yeah. about 10 minutes. Yeah, do you show the hen? Yeah, uh, put the balls in for about 10 minutes first and then when the cocks go into their half of the cage, we fasten the cocks into the, into the, into the ball half. Then when we, uh, after about 10 minutes, we introduce the hens in. Yeah, how about on a Saturday? They get the hen on a Saturday? Yep, yep. Uh, uh, it all depends on what type of race it's been, how long the hen stays with the cock. Uh, it's definitely about you know, two to three hours anyhow, even on a fast day, you know, leave it in for a while. Yeah, do you beef the corn up a bit when they go to the distance? Uh, just add a few peanuts. Yeah. A couple of days before the go start, give them like uh, one, two, three, just just stop for a bit of protein into them. Yeah. Not how about training you would do with cocks? No. We, uh, we've tried training them and we found not training them they seem to be better. Yeah, they just fly out a couple of hours a day. About, work off from about 40 minutes beginning of the week up to an hour, back end of the week. This is the sea inside your widower's section in Ron. How many cocks you keep? Uh, in this section there's 28 cocks in this section. Yeah, when do you, find when you pair them up? Uh, a week after Blackpool. Yeah, I know it's all sitting now, the season's finished. Do you let them rear a baby now? Yeah, we we will go on now, but uh, there's that many like people. You've, I've talked of a few people, and they reckon it doesn't make no difference whether they fetch them up or they don't fetch them up. So we're going to just let these sit, these put eggs out, and then when they leave the eggs, just split them. This is the fantastic view from the partners' 
racing loft. Absolutely incredible. If you fall down there, you'd kill yourself. Could you imagine in pigeons coming across there on a Saturday? This is a blue cock, one of our best racing cocks this, this year. Pigeon called Varxy. Uh, he's a grandson to the cock that you've seen first, the brother that lost his combine winner. He's got three first pairs, a 21st, won the section from Folkestone this year, uh, three and a half thousand pigeons, and he's also got a 30, 41st combine out of Lillers this year. Beautiful pigeon, isn't he? Yeah. Is he a widow cock? Yeah. He won last year on sitting roundabout and on widow this year. These are a few of your babies then, Ron. How many you breed each season? About 80, 80 young birds. Yeah, how far do you race them? Uh, we usually take them up to a Mason, which is about 2 two thirty. Yeah. Do you say the cocks at all because of the widowed? Yeah, uh, not normally, but we are this year. We're going to stop about 20 this year. At about uh, about 170 miles, it'll be about Peter Butter. Yeah. And that's why two of them sitting. Do you like them sitting eggs? Yeah. Uh, if if they if I see them start to pair up in the boxes, I just sit them up and you know a bit of motivation. Yeah. How about train them? How far do you train them? It'll be 18 mile. How many times a week is that? That'll, that'll be uh, Monday to Thursday. This is the Van Loon hen, which is out of T. Craig's son and grandson. And uh, she was, she's got two firsts and a second, two first feds. She was 32nd combine and she was fourth combine last year, winning the section out of the uh, comeback, Mason. How many pigeons in that combine? About, uh, I think it was about uh, 25,000 that day. Yeah, she's a wonderful pigeon, man, isn't she? Beautiful. We're in the stock loft now, Rum. How many pairs of stock birds you keep? 20 pair, 20 pair of stock. Yeah, when do you pay them up? Uh, Simp Nam was there, where it was. Yeah, what, what families have you got? Uh, in here there's Bush Arts and some Chansons, which yeah. we've just purchased this year. Yeah, when you go out buying stock birds, what do you look for? Uh, I like to feel nice, nice bodies, handling. They've got to come to me hands, you know. And uh, I like to say nice, deep eye. Yeah. The partner's stock lot, he's got a lovely aviary where the birds can get out in the rain and the sun. In fact, it is raining now. This is the, another Van Loon cock out there, uh, Craig's son and grandson. It's, uh, it was fourth combine out of Lil, winning the section as well. Beautiful pigeon again, isn't it? Smashing top, your pigeon, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Right, the two Ronnies. Thank you very much for letting me come and see the pigeons today. You owe a credit to you. Clean on it, never you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. Well. <laughs>